Hello, lovelies. So, I always get asked for my opinion on what fountain pen I would recommend for first time users. So, instead of just sharing my personal favorite, I figured I would show you what I have from the lowest to highest price and just go in depth with all the features that each pen offers to help you decide which fountain pen would be best for you. Some people want their first fountain pen to be a more expensive one and others are just looking for the bare minimum to try. I was one of those people that didn't go the lowest price and then quickly jumped to a gold nib, but that's because I knew that I would love the writing experience. There is also a giveaway that's going to be mentioned somewhere in this video, so stick around until the end. So what I have here are my three favorite pens from each price range. I have my Platinum Celluloid Gold Nib, this Twisby Eco, which I feel could be mid-range because some of the styles go from around $30 to $60. And for my lowest pen priced one is the Caveco Sport. Now, I really, really love this pen. As many of you guys know, I have a ton of colors in this pen. And the reason why I love it is because of how versatile it is. You can find this in an array of materials from the plastic one to an aluminum one and even a brass version of this. So I feel like you could really find the pen you want. I really like that the Caveco has these, I don't know if they're called facets, but it allows the pen to not roll around on your desk. This is a very versatile pen with accessories. And I also like that you can choose to have either a converter or use cartridges. And they have various brands of these cartridges that you can use, so you're not limited to just a proprietary cartridge. You can also change the nib out if the nib size isn't for you instead of purchasing an entire new pen. Even though the cartridges hold a lot more ink, I do love the fact that there is the option to have a converter to use with any ink you can imagine. It's actually perfect for the little ink samples since it's so tiny. You can just fill it straight from the converter and I always do this with one hand. That's how easy this converter is. The Caveco when posted, it's pretty much a full-size pen. As you guys can tell, I have very long hands for a woman. So it still works for me very well. It's very comfortable to write with and I could use it for hours if you'd let me. I wanna quickly show you inside how it looks like with a converter. As you can see, the converter is pretty much the exact length of the barrel. I'm sure they could have used a converter that has that twisting mechanism like the other two that I have here, but the nice thing about this like little syringe-like converter is that cleaning this pen literally takes two seconds. I swear that this pen has the fastest cleaning experience I've ever tried. Two little shots of water and it's all clean and ready for a fresh ink. The Caveco is also really nice for travel. I love how compact it is and it kind of goes perfectly with a little passport size. I enjoy that it's almost a pocket pen that is almost full sized when capped. I'll show you the comparisons of this pen while it's capped compared to the others. I'm going to compare it with the Twisby Eco, but it's not too bad. To me, the Caveco Sport is just a perfect first time pen to have that all around fountain pen experience. You can use it with the cartridge, you can use it with a converter, you can switch it out, take it apart easily, and the parts are very easy to replace as well. So if you're thinking of trying a fountain pen or even giving somebody a fountain pen, I feel like this would be the perfect pen to give out. So now for the Twisby Eco. I love this pen too, but this one does come with some limitations. Now, if you're a person that likes to have a large capacity and are using bottled inks exclusively, then the Twisby Eco is just perfect. 
Now, to my knowledge, there is no way to use cartridges. Basically, this pen is just a huge converter. I know you could change the nib, so that's pretty cool. And maintenance for this pen is simple because you can take the pen apart entirely and flush the whole thing out. Plus, they give you a little tool for it as well. Now, my only gripe with this pen are the minimal color options and also the grip section. I find that the grip section is pretty skinny compared to all my other pens and I will get tired writing with this for a longer period of time. I will show you with the Caveco but you'll see that the Caveco has a larger grip section versus the tapered grip section of the Twisby Eco. Now it's not a bad thing if you prefer skinnier pens or are not writing for that long of a time but i feel it's just for me personally it gets a little uncomfortable after a while now this pen is perfect to use unposted it is pretty much a perfect length for the caveco it's almost impossible to use unposted unless you have smaller hands Twisby Eco Unposted and the Caveco Posted is pretty much the same size as you can see. The Twisby Eco Posted is pretty huge. I feel like I'm writing with like a wand or something, but I actually prefer it this way. Since I mentioned that the grip section is kind of too narrow for me, I will grip the pen more towards the body instead. Another thing is that since the body of the pen is its converter, itself it's kind of difficult to fill up an ink sample with smaller vials like the Yoseka ones. It's better to use the taller vials like the ones from Goulet pens or Venice pens and obviously you're not gonna really fill the entire barrel but you can definitely try samples if you keep that in mind. For this pen I definitely recommend this for people who want to use bottled inks exclusively. Also before I forget to mention, for both of these pens the nibs are extremely smooth and the Twisby that I have here is an extra fine and it has been one of the best experience of a non-gold nib pen. The Platinum 3776 in Celluloid. Oh man, I really love this pen. This one is in a fine nib, and the gold nib is just such a nice experience. It has a significantly larger nib than all of the pens. And with a gold nib pen, you do have a ton of options to choose from, especially when you're choosing from a sailor brand. You know how they have like infinite color combos. This Platinum has one of the smaller ink capacities compared to some other gold nib pens. I know that there's a Pilot one that is a piston fill that holds a ton of ink, but some people do find them a little finicky to use, which is why I went with the Platinum 3776. I like how nice this pen just feels to hold. It does have a lot more weight compared to the other pens and also specifically Platinum has this slip and seal mechanism inside that kind of vacuums the pen in so that there isn't any ink collection in the tip of the cap. I'll show you with the Sailor pen real fast how there is some ink collected at the end of this and i'm sure it's going to be hard to tell with the platinum cap but there is virtually no ink in there and there never has been for any of my pens i find the length of this pen a little too short for me to use uncapped it's kind of comparable to the caveco sport the gold nymphs that i have have the same barrel thickness as the Caveco Sport versus the Twisby Eco, which makes them super comfortable to write with. Now, as you can see, here it goes to start rolling away, but now excuse me trying to fight the pen from rolling away. As you can see, the Platinum is almost just as short as the Caveco Sport, that little centimeter difference doesn't really help unless you do have smaller hands. So now I'm going to just compare these three pens very quickly. I'm going to first go over the grip section. The Caveco and the Platinum have very similar grip sections and the Twisby Eco has a tapered grip section which 
for me is a little uncomfortable and the nibs are also very different in size. I find that the Twisby Eco is more of a mid-size nib and the Caveco Sport is just so teeny. It's really cute. And here you're gonna see me fighting with these pens. They're just rolling all over the place. But I wanted to show you each pen uncapped. And you can tell that the Twisby Eco is just going to be super comfortable uncapped. And uncapped, the platinum is just very tiny. And when using the Caveco Sport as it is intended capped, you can see that the Caveco Sport is actually the longest of the three. And I'll just go over with all of them capped. And of course, the Twisby Eco is going to win. So I feel like if you're a person that has really large hands, the Twisby Eco might be the better option, but then again, I don't know, with the tapered barrel, it might be uncomfortable if you do have larger hands. Now I'm gonna show you how intricate each of these nibs are. Even though the Caveco and the Twisby Eco are a more economical choice, they still have a lot of detail in the nib which I feel is just very nice. For me, my favorite pen would be a gold nibbed pen, only because I get to choose the style that I really love and also the smoothness of the gold nib. I feel like the pen as a whole, with the weight, the color, and how nice it feels, just makes it worth it to me. Now, this white pen that I have was the cheapest of gold nibs that I found. I paid $80 for this one, so you don't have to necessarily pay $300 plus just to try a gold nib. But I also really want to emphasize the fact that you do not need a gold nib pen to have a wonderful writing experience. The Twisby Eco, for example, if you're looking for a finer nib, the Twisby Eco is fantastic and it has a smooth writing experience. Now, I know some pen snobs will be like, oh, no way, but in my opinion, the Twisby Eco is just as smooth as a gold nib pen. And with a lot of gold nib pens, you can't switch out the nibs without paying a high price compared to the Caveco Sport, which you can, at best, $15 or whatever the price is, is not gonna hurt as much versus hundreds to replace the nib. There are so many pros and cons to all of these pens, which is why I wanted to create a more detailed video so you can decide for yourself. Okay, now on to the giveaway. In the beginning of my last video, I showed a tiny sneak peek of what I was going to be giving away this week. I'm not sure if many of you caught that, but I am giving away this Caveco collection in mellow blue, and I don't really wanna open this, but this is a brand new pen, and I just wanna show you that everything is there. This is a fine nib pen based on what you guys preferred in my poll section. A lot of you preferred to write with fine nibs so I went with that and I'm showing you here that this has the little starter cartridge and I will also be giving away a new converter to go along with this pen as well as some fountain ink samples from my collection. I feel like this pen color is very similar to the Yoseka one. Well, I guess not. Maybe it's the light that makes it look a similar blue to the Yoseka one. I feel like this Yoseka pen is just magical and changes with the light. But I really love this blue color. I feel like it's a nice color that'll go with anything. Again, I will be sending you a brand new converter as well and some ink samples to go along with this. Now, to enter the giveaway, it's going to be exactly the same as the last video. You have to like this video, be subscribed both to my channel and my Instagram, and also comment the answer to the question of this video, which is, what is your dream fountain pen? Now, before I go, 
Today is the last day to enter the Hobonichi Weeks and Cover Giveaway. So if you haven't already, I will link that video in the cards as well as in the description below. And I will also link down below the details of this Caveco pen giveaway too. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful and if not, at least enjoyable. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one.